Yeah, let's directly jump into it. To create an activity type in both SAP ECC and also SAP S4HANA, we navigate to transaction code KL01. That's KL01. Over here you can see first of all we need to include our controlling area. Because an activity type is always assigned to a specific controlling area. Then you can see we need to include an ID. The ID can be up to six characters and alphanumeric. So let's create an activity type called Lab01 for labor charges. So wages for the employees working on our production line. Then we have a validity period. So an activity type always has a certain validity. Let's say from the first of the next year. And for our example, we will leave it to an unlimited due date. You can also see we could copy our activity type from already existing activity types. This is used if we only want to change certain values and want most of the values to be inherited from an already existing activity type. For now, this is fine. We can click on master data or enter on our keyboard. And you can see we are forwarded to the detail page. Over here, we got four different tabs. Let's start with the basic data. We need to provide a name, let's say labor charges. This name can be up to 20 characters. Also, we need a description. Let's just copy this one. Then we have the basic data. So the activity unit, in this case, it would be hours because our employees are charged on an hourly basis. Then we have the so-called cost center category. You already know what cost centers are if you have watched my other video about the cost center creation. So basically what we state over here is for which cost centers, so for which cost center types, our activity type is allowed. Let's just open the search help. Here we can see, for instance, if we put in an asterisk, then all the cost center categories are allowed. But we want to say that this particular activity type is valid for production only. Let's click continue. Then we have here quite important, the activity type category. There we have four different values and via the activity type category, we would define how the actual allocation of this activity type is going to happen in our system. It determines, for instance, when we work eight hours on our machine, how those costs associated with our work are allocated to different cost centers. For now, we will say manual entry, manual allocation. Then we have the allocation cost element. So this is the secondary cost element under which the activity type is allocated. So you know that we do an allocation of costs via the secondary cost elements. So we need to include here the secondary cost element account, which is for sure a general ledger account of type secondary cost element. Then we have a price indicator. So the price indicator is used to determine how prices will be calculated for this specific activity type. So for instance, prices could be calculated automatically or determined manually. For now, we will say automatically. And then over here, we have some more advanced topics that we will cover in a different session as they require a lot of more background knowledge. Then we have here the indicators tab. Over here, we can set the log indicator. So if this indicator is active, then the activity type cannot be used for any kind of planning. This has no effect on the actual postings with this activity type whatsoever. So it's just about plan values. And we have a tab called output. So the output unit is used to define an alternative output unit if the output of our activity type is measured in a unit different to the one specified for the activity quantity. So for instance, one hour of an activity, let's say metal working, would produce 10 drills. And the activity unit would be hours for sure in the basic data. However, the alternative output could be pieces, so PC, because we can also produce 10 drills in an hour. And the output factor in this case would be 10. One hour of work equals 10 pieces of drills in this example. And then we only have the history where we can see all of the changes applied to this activity type. Yeah, and that's basically it. Then we only need to save the activity type and we are finished. This marks the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to not miss any more videos. You would really help me with that and it only takes two seconds. Thanks and see you soon.